good day all now i am going to present my research on motivating workers towards the use of respiratory protective methods a cluster randomized trial conducted in rice mills in ampara district sri lanka poor use of respiratory protective methods predisposes rice mill workers to a uh, lot of respiratory diseases this was uh, very much uh, evident when we conducted the baseline study so in this study we aimed to assess the effectiveness of a multifaceted intervention to motivate right mill workers to use respiratory protective method moving on to the outline of the intervention so is this in this study uh, rice mill workers aged 18 to 65 years who were not diagnosed with chronic respiratory diseases prior to commencement of the rice milling were selected as the study population this was a cluster randomized study so 13 clusters in each in intervention group and control group with a, with three workers in each cluster thus 39 workers in each group uh, with a total of 78 or uh, total number of workers were included in this study outcome measures were percentage use of any form of respiratory protective method and secondary outcome Uh, outcome measures were prevalence of respiratory symptoms changes in lung function measurements and changes in awareness attitudes and beliefs towards the use of respiratory protective methods outcome assessments were done at 6 weeks and at 12 weeks in the first week uh, the health, uh, before one week prior to the intervention we uh, conducted uh, the health education program skill training program and we introduced n95 respirators and handbooks to the intervention group in the first week intervention group started using the respirator posters were displayed at the rice mill and daily reinforcements to the intervention group were done by the principal investigator and the public health inspector also control group was monitored till the end of the intervention uh, that is 12 weeks for any change in respiratory protective method uh, behavior so in the second week reinforcements of the intervention group to where the respirators were done on every other day and random visits were conducted by the public health inspector uh, inspectors from third week to 12 weeks weekly reinforcements were done for the to where the respirators and one uh, con control group was monitored and random visits were conducted by the public health inspectors and outcome measurements were done at 6 weeks and 12 weeks as mentioned earlier response rate of the study was 100% and there were no significant difference between uh, base, baseline measurements between the intervention and control groups at the end of 12 weeks we could find that the uh, respiratory protective methods were uh, use use of respiratory protective methods were increased from around uh, 30% to uh, to 80% in the intervention group compared to the lowering of the uh, percentages uh, nearly from 30% to uh, 25% in the control group respiratory symptoms uh, the breathlessness and acute cough were significantly improved in the intervention group compared to the control group all the lung function measurements being uh, force vital capacity uh, fev1 fev1 to FV, fvc ratio and pfr were improved in the intervention group compared to the uh, uh, control group awareness on respiratory health problems and uh, Uh, the attitudes and beliefs were improved in the intervention group towards the use of respiratory protective methods with that i would like to conclude that a multifaceted intervention with access to education and protective materials was successful in motivating rice mill workers to use respiratory protective methods thank you